Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking. Today we're going to be talking about how DNA is powered and how it is joined together. Um, there's a picture on the screen. Um, this is just to show you that uh, before I show my explanation, um, it shows that a, uh, a DNA double helix, if you add heat to it, the strands will unwind. And then if you have more heat, the strands will separate. And if you allow it to cool, it will then reform. I'm just going to say straight away, before I give my explanation of how it's powered as, what's happening here? You see, a, a native double helix is generating an electromagnetic field. It's not a magnet, it's just generating an electromagnetic field because it's now become a mechanic, a, uh, an energy object. So it's generating an electromagnetic field like you are. All matter generates an EM field. So what happens to magnets when you heat them up? They lose coherence and they come apart. So the picture on the screen is uh, a basic example of electromagnetic behavior within matter. You add heat, the magnetic field becomes incoherent, it separates, and when it cools, um, the uh, electromagnetic field returns. Okay, after that, and as you can see, the shape of uh, a single helix is uh, a straight line with straight pieces coming off it, and these have to join together. So with that in mind, let's listen to... Um, the only time um, the joining of DNA has ever been explained correctly due to my visions from God. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking. Today, in the world first, I'm going to uh, tell and show exactly how DNA um, in a fertilized human egg, um, I'm going to explain how two single helixes become one double helix. Now, before I do that, I'm going to give you the opposite example. Um, because a double helix, uh, all energy is electromagnetism. It is always a mix of electricity and magnetism if matter is involved. But for uh, scientific purposes and the ease of explanation, as I've said in many videos about plants, electricity goes this way, magnetism goes this way. So, what did I say happens to a plant? I said there's an electrical bolt in the middle. We're going to leave it there for a second, and now I'm going to tell you the opposite of a plant. In a convergence zone, where two cloud masses meet. Both masses are electromagnetic clouds. When a convergence zone meets, which is two opposite rotations of clouds, and what I'm stating can be seen on any suspicious observer's weather uh, reports, the two clouds come together and you get a convergence zone. What happens in the convergence zone of two electromagnetic storm clouds? give you a few seconds to think about it we get a line of electricity so how is DNA powered well it's powered by the same thing that powers plants and plasma instabilities as recognized by Anthony Peratt you would get a double helix of electricity and then this becomes magnetism and draws these together with two double helixes which both push and pull and so they slowly electricity magnetism electricity magnetism electricity magnetism exactly how plants grow and so as is seen with cuts and wounds in a speeded up time lapse they have realized that the skin zips itself up well, your skin contains an electric field, and the electric field does this. It forms a heteromac formation between the two helixes, and because one is clockwise and one is counterclockwise, you end up with a double helix. And so, as we climb Jacob's Ladder using electricity and magnetism 
it's very easy to show that the living God, who is an energy being, showed me how a heteromach formation works. So this is not a third wheel here. This is not separate to these two. The electricity turns into magnetism, then shoots out another beam of electricity. This is double helix. These are double helix. These pull in because the electricity attracts matter and magnetism rotates and inflates. So the magnetism and electricity activate the gene expressions. The electricity and magnetism pull in the two sides of the helix and zip it together right at the middle. So there you have it. A unique explanation of how DNA becomes a double helix, not because it has three helixes, but because it has a heteromach formation of electricity to magnetism, electricity to magnetism. This electricity is this magnetism. This is not magical separate magnetism next to electricity. When electricity or magnetism hits an energy or matter barrier, it will perform a halo wave and roll into a wave. This then pulls the matter in because energy attracts matter, matter covers energy, and energy moves matter. Thank you very much. Um, I don't believe anybody's ever explained how DNA pulls itself together because obviously science is not a big believer in uh, electricity and magnetism when it comes to uh, electricity and magnetism actually moving matter. But that's the thing, you see, matter's dead. Matter doesn't do anything. Matter is merely a code that energy turns into a shape. So there we have it. Electricity, magnetism, but both are electromagnetism, magnetoelectric, because it's the inverse reflection of the original beam. Pure double helix energy shown to me by the God of the Bible and I've written everything down and uh, everything I've ever said in my videos shows that it's a double helix and every time I've said electricity to magnetism always electricity to magnetism but it's always been the same thing this is a double helix that's a double helix and that's a double helix if you add these two together it will equal that Thanks a lot. My name's Lee. I follow the Christ. And I'm showing you all the things he shows me. I'd like to thank uh, Catfish Corners for allowing me to do this in more detail. I just thought people knew what I was talking about um, when I said it was electricity and magnetism. So I'd like to thank uh, Eric for this video. Because um, he started saying that there was three helixes. Because one, two, three. So I, I decided to um, educate the world in what I really mean, which is electricity turns into magnetism, then according to Anthony Peratt and a plasma instability, you end up with a heteromach of energy. And because double helix is half a heteromach, join them together and you get a double helix Jacob's ladder. You see the inverse of this shape and this shape is the cross. And as I've said, the cross of God, which is electricity to magnetism to electricity, the cross of God is in everything, which shows God is an expression of everything, and everything is an expression of God. And there is nothing except God, and every single expression of him. Thanks very much. Bye.